In today's video, we're going to be talking about the history of KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. KFC was founded as Sanders Court and Cafe as a roadside restaurant by Colonel Harlan Sanders during the Great Depression. After his restaurant was a success, he wanted to franchise his restaurant to create more of his restaurant, so he opened up. He started to begin franchising in 1952, but his first franchise location was located in Salt Lake City, Utah. During that time, KFC was unique as other restaurants were specializing in hamburgers and fries and stuff. KFC was specializing in fried chicken. And at that time, Harlan identified himself as Colonel Sanders. KFC's rapid expansion and stores opening left and right would use Colonel Sanders as the mascot of their restaurants. But the aging Harlan would, was too much for him, so he sold the business in 1964. 1964, John Y. Brown Jr. and Jack C. Casey took over the company. KFC's rapid expansion would expand into Canada, United Kingdom, Mexico, and Jamaica during the 1960s. During the 1970s and 80s, KFC was going through expansion, but sometimes losses as they had to close some locations as well. Some years were good for KFC and some years weren't good for KFC, but they continued expanding. During the early 1970s, KFC was sold to a spirits distributor called Heblin. Heblin would eventually become and taken over by R.J. Reynolds. R.J. Reynolds was a food and tobacco conglomerate that sold to PepsiCo later on, the KFC brand of PepsiCo. KFC would expand throughout other countries, but would continue to expand. In 1987, they were the first Western fast food chain to open in China. KFC would continue to expand in China. Now, it's the single largest market for KFC. PepsiCo would later spin off their restaurants to have a new company called Trikin Global Restaurants which later became Yum, Yum Brands, Inc. Sanders pressure cooked chicken with 11 herbs and spices is still a tradition at KFC to this day. KFC has become one of the world's top fast food restaurants. Even Competitors like Wendy's have been influenced by KFC. Dave Thomas worked at, worked at KFC for a brief time and was inspired by Colonel Sanders as well. KFC used to be a great restaurant to go to. Nowadays, it's not as good as it used to be. But anyway, this is the history of KFC. Today, KFC has 25,000 locations in 147 countries across the world. Thanks for watching this video in the history of KFC. Stay tuned for more videos.